Thank you for tuning in to this episode of North Texas Talks. I'm your host, Scott Ochoa, in the one and only CBC Creative in downtown Sherman, Texas. They've hooked us up with a great location to shoot this video, and of course you can see the downtown area, was, which is really awesome. We have a very special guest running for Grayson County Sheriff in 2016 is David Russell. Thank you for coming and being on our show today. My pleasure. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, we're specifically looking for, um, you know, your experience and what makes you a good fit for the sheriff in 2016. I started uh, with the Houston Police Department in 1970, or I beg your pardon, 1985. I spent the first seven years on night shift patrolling. Second seven years, I went downtown and got into special operations. And there in special operations, you uh, have different hats you wear. And uh, one of the hats I wore was a helmet for the bicycle. Uh, and believe it or not, people, they don't anymore, but they used to kind of kid us, but the bicycle patrol made the most arrest. Uh, we were in charge of all the parades, um, the motorcades, presidents come into town, uh, they get royal treatment by the Houston Police Department. Not only just the presidents, but other special dignitaries. Um, Hillary Clinton, for instance, uh, even though she was not the president or vice president, she was treated just uh, with the same type of uh, coverage that the president was. So in the morning, I might be riding a bicycle, and that afternoon, uh, escorting George Bush down the freeway. Um, I guess a highlight was when I got to escort John Glenn when he first got back from space for the second time. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. Yeah, very cool. Good man, nice man, uh, easy to get along with. I left Houston in 1999 and went to uh, Gray County uh, Sheriff's Office. I was out there for a little less than two years, chief deputy when I left. I came to Gray County. I beg your pardon, Grayson County. They're next to each other on the map, by the way. And uh, I uh, started working for Chief uh, Sheriff Gary in 2003 as a patrolman. 2005, I become an investigator. I stayed an investigator for about six years before I uh, was promoted to sergeant. Sergeant, a couple of years, got promoted to lieutenant, and as sergeant, I was over the, uh, the, C the investigative section, and as lieutenant, I began out. I began over the patrol section, and while over the patrol section, uh, we made some changes, did some things a little bit different. Were uh, we had a little bit more accomplishments, but I didn't stay there long before they moved me back to the uh, investigative section where I um, finished my career. David, in the current sheriff's office, what do you think is the biggest challenge facing the office right now? Right now, I would say the biggest challenge for our office is training. Training on something specific? Well, we get the normal training the uh, 40 hours over a two-year period. And we get special uh, specialized training, and, and we got a pretty good training, or they have a pretty good training budget. Mm -hmm. However, there is some specialized training that I believe would be real helpful for now and for the future. You know, we got a growth coming, and uh, our investigators are going to start needing more help, as well as uh, uh, kind of a jump on the call before they get there, but it's a, what's going on. I would also like to have our sheriff's office um, more available to our public through Neighborhood Watch or whatever. Um, there's a, a lot of our community that doesn't deal with the sheriff's office at all, that are members of the their Neighborhood Watch, and I, be, I believe we could build a better relationship by doing that, I'm not saying that we have to attend every meeting that they they have, but I am saying we need to make ourselves more available to the public. What is the biggest difference that you think you'll bring to the sheriff's office, or what makes you the, the go-to guy for the sheriff's election? 
Leadership. 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 I uh, plan on putting good folks around me, good administrative folks, but I am going to be a leader. Um, I will be out there on some of the scenes. I will be out there working and if there is a need that I should be back in the office, of course, priorities, but the biggest thing is leadership. And I believe that over the 30 plus years that I spent in the Marine Corps and with law enforcement and the Houston Police Department, that that puts me uh, in a pretty good position in the area. Okay. Well, I thank you for coming and answering some questions and letting us get to know you a little bit better. We appreciate you tuning in, so to speak, here on the World Wide Web. If you're over at Facebook and you like what you see, be sure to like this post and like the uh, North Texas Talks page. If you're watching us over at YouTube and you want to see more of, of the episodes, check out the other episodes at, there at YouTube and also subscribe to our channel. That would be awesome. Again, thank you. And as always, we'll see you next time. Thank you.